Hello guys, and welcome to the fourth episode of my TF2 Unusual Trading series. I would like to apologize for the late upload, but uh, the end of the school year is getting real close for me, and that means finals. So I've been spending a lot of my time catching up on missing assignments, studying and whatnot. So uh, once again, I'm really sorry about that. Um, but along with it, I forgot to record uh, some of my trades in live time. Uh, so, a few of my trades at the beginning of the episode don't have any footage of like what the unusual looks like in-game. But I will instead be showing you guys the trade already accepted, and uh, like the already accepted trade offer. And I'll discuss my thought process for each trade in a bit more detail. Um, as always, I appreciate the support, and I'd like to thank you guys for understanding. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, last episode, we ended off with a Blizzardy Storm frickin' sweet ninja hood, with buy orders at 27 keys, and an isotope field tested shot to hell pistol that we bought for 22 keys, along with 90 keys pure. So, all around about 143 keys in buy order mixed. And after a couple days of not really receiving any offers on either unusuals, a buy order for the pistol that I had popped up at uh, 26 keys. Which was four keys more than what I bought it for. So I, I decided I didn't really want to waste any more time with a pistol. Because unusual weapons can be a pain in the ass to sell a lot of the times. So uh, yeah, I took it. You can't really complain about four keys profit. But yeah. So the next few trades were uh, me looking for all different types of quick sales. Like spells, unusuals, and taunts, and whatnot. And I was able to strike a deal with a friend who was selling his phosphorus industrial festivizer and uh, after a bit of negotiating we did come to the conclusion of uh, 36 keys pure for it the festivizer had buy orders at around the same price here of 34.88 and so I was buying it for around a bit more than a key over buy orders um, phosphorus isn't really the best effect but I was getting it for such a cheap price that I felt like I couldn't really go wrong with it. And uh, Phosphorus has a sister effect, Sulphurus, and it had two sellers at 60. And it still does have two sellers at 60. So I figured I could just relist mine at 60 and just sit and see what offers I get on it. And when I bought this Unusual at the time, there wasn't this guy selling it. Um... I actually do think I'm in the history, so this is the exact same one that I sold to. So I guess he has it now. But, yeah, it was a really good deal. Along with that, I quick bought a Molten Mallard Das Modern Doctor. It had buy orders at 29.6 at the time, so same buy orders. And it also had this seller at 50 when I bought it. it was, I, th I think I got really lucky for this one, because um, the guy that I bought it off of... Uh, had gotten this head in a mixed offer for one of his unusuals and it, he told me that he would be profiting even if he had sold uh the unusual to buy orders so he said that he didn't really mind quick selling it to me for 30 keys uh the medic the the das modern doctor is a medic only head and it doesn't really have the best effect in my opinion but once again i was getting it for such a low price that there was virtually no way i could could take a loss on this one so i just took the deal So, after around a day of trying to sell this Festivizer, I finally sold it for a Purple Energy Murders motif. Um, there was little to no margin on the motif, and although, I mean, I love the Murders motif, it's one of my favorite heads uh, for this spy, but there was no margin on it. So, I hit him up, and I figured he might be down a overpay a bit in a downgrade for an unusual with like a bigger margin because i was the only seller on the the festivizer at the time so it was a great selling point to say like hey your unusual has a bunch of sellers that are competing with each other maybe if you would like to overpay a bit i can sell you this uh festivizer and you'd be the only seller uh i also <laughs> made it a point that i think sulfurous was like the robo version of uh, scorching flames because that's what it was supposed to be was like sulfurous and phosphorus were supposed to be like the burning and scorching flames of like robo effects 
So it was a good selling point to say that as well. But originally he said he wanted me to add 13 keys on top of my uh, Festivizer. And I paid 36 for the Festivizer. So that would not be worth it. Uh, I would be paying 49, or four, uh, around 50 keys actually in buy orders for his motif with this seller this seller wasn't here this is the guy that i sold it to but yeah but eventually i was actually able to negotiate him into taking only eight keys and ads uh, and so essentially buying the the festivizer for 36 if i added eight keys on top of 36 i essentially paid 44 keys for this motif and uh that means that I profit around 2.78 keys for just selling to buy orders. And I ended up quick selling it to Decora here for 47 keys because I knew that I wasn't going to get any more than that. And it wasn't really worth the effort to try and sell it for more. So I decided I'd just quick sell it to uh, Decora for 47. And that just gave us a quick three keys profit in around a day. So I'd say that trade was worth it. I quick bought a Blizzardy Storm Wetworks for a bit less than a key over buy orders at 16, so I paid 17 keys for uh, this sniper head with quite a decent effect. Um, yeah, I was the only seller for the head, and it had a decent effect, so I thought worst case scenario, I'd just re-quick sell the head for what I bought it for, so there wasn't really that big of a risk for this trade. So I did take the deal. I have it listed for 21 keys, but I'd be happy with anything over 17. I've been offered a mixed offer where buy orders add up to 16.25, but it has a robo hat in it, so I don't really want it. But yeah, I'm just going to sit on this and see what, what offers we can get. I also uh, quick bought this bubbling war pig for the soldier for 21 keys pure. Uh, it was points, yeah, it's like 0.7 keys over buy orders. It has a seller at 35. But I think this seller is really overpricing it. I mean, reasonably, I think I could get like 23 keys, maybe 25 keys tops for it. But then again, the effect isn't really the best, and um, the bubbling isn't that desirable. But I got it for such a good deal that. Honestly, any deal under a key over buy orders is normally a great deal, like 99 out of like 100, like 99 times out of 100. So I just took it. We'll see where that gets us. And yeah. So we just made quite a profitable trade. Uh, I sold my Molten Mallard Dust Noggin Oh, you know, Dust Madden Doctor uh, that I paid 30 keys for, plus 13 keys pure for a purple energy dark Falker Kel uh, with buy orders a bit less than 50 30 keys. Uh, I believe, yes, yeah, so 52.9. Uh, I originally offered him my Madden Doctor and just asked him how much he wanted on top of the Hatton Pure to go through with a trade, and he only wanted 15 keys over or on top of my hat for this Falkirk, which is already a great deal considering that I paid 30 for it. He was asking for 45 keys pretty much for this hat. Um, yeah, I already knew that it was a good deal nonetheless, but based off of how reluctant he was to trade the hat, like he straight up offered 15. Uh, I asked him if he could do any lower because I felt like maybe I could get a bit more off of him. So, uh, yeah, I asked him and he said he could do 13 instead of 15, so of course I took the deal. And uh, he ended up overpaying a crap ton for the head in a downgrade, like he paid so much over uh, in buy orders for it. Uh, but just to recap, we paid 30 keys for the head. Uh, I think the Madden Doctor, we added 13, so that was our initial investment of 43 keys. And since the buy orders are at like 53 for this Falker pretty much. That's an automatic 10 keys profit if we were to sell the bots. Uh, I mean, I probably will end up selling it for to bots or quick sell it. I mean, 
The only downgrade, or the, the only downside about the Falkirk is that the seller at 60 here is absolutely cucking me. I mean, without that seller, I feel like I could probably get 57 keys on it, like, easy, because it's an all-class with purple energy. It, it could easily get 57. But now with this seller, I don't even know if I could get 54. Like, maybe if I'm lucky, I can get 54 on it, but I don't really think anybody's going to want to pay full pure for a hat if they're just not going to be able to flip it for profit. But, yeah, I'm not sure if I should wait this one out, but we'll see. I just quick bought a Dead President's head of cards for 15 keys. The buy orders for it are at 14.18. So, um, I'd be paying less than a key over buy orders for it. Or, I did pay a key less than buy orders for it. Fuck. More than buy orders. A bit less than a key over buy orders for it. For fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> it's been a rough one, guys. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I did get it for quite cheap. Uh, once again... Uh, like all the other quick sales that I bought, it's not the best hit and it doesn't have the best effect, but, um, for getting it for such a low price, I mean, it makes it so that you can't really go wrong. So, I mean, worst, worst comes to worst, uh, I could just re-quick sell it for what I bought it for at 15. So, not really worried about that, but this is a pretty good snag. I, d I don't think this can sell for much. It has a recommended price of 15 to 18 keys. Um... So I think I could like get maybe 16 keys. So just quick one key profit. But yeah, we'll see where this one gets us. Hey guys, so I just sold the bubbling war pig that we bought for 0.7 over buy orders. I think we bought it for 21 keys. And I added 10 keys on top, so 31 keys for a disco beatdown rather festive tree. Uh, the effect won't show here. But I've just accepted the trade. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty neat hat. Um, there was no margin on it. I can show you the backpack listing. So, buy orders were at 32. So, we paid 31. So, we'd make a key profit if we were to just sell this hat to buy orders. And there is a quick sell bot for um, two keys over buy orders for an all-class disco beatdown hat. So I think I'm going to wait this, wait this one out. Maybe ask a couple of my friends if they'd be interested in quick buying this one so that we could open up the margin a bit. But I'm not going to complain. The war, the war pig it was uh, bubbling, I think. So I don't think I could have gotten that much on it. There was a seller at 35 for it, but he was definitely overpricing his unusual by a lot. So yeah, we'll see where this one gets us. Guys, what, what, this, this is trading. I just felt like I should include this. Like, this, this is trading. There are people moaning in microphones. Wow. Okay. Back to the trading series. Hey guys, so just an hour ago, I bought a circling TF logo condor cap for the um, soldier. I bought it for 13 keys. And buy orders were at 12.65 keys and i am the only uh the only seller for it so it's pretty good snag i think i could get 14 out of this pretty easily because um by requick selling it it would only be like a key and a half over buy orders which is a pretty good requick sell as well so i could definitely make profit on this so at the moment we have six unusuals and two keys I still have that blizzardy storm freaking sweet ninja hood. The buy orders have been rising. I bought it for, I think, 27 keys, and the buy orders now are at 27.5. I've been offered 29 keys for it multiple times, but I still have yet to receive an offer of 30. I think if I do get 30 keys on it, I'm going to take it. But we've also got this Dead President's Head of Cards, Purple Energy Falkirk, the Blizzardy Storm Wet Works, Disco Beatdown Rather Festive Tree and this condor cap, cap that we just bought but i'll get back to you guys when i get another trade
Hey guys, so I just sold the Condor Cap. I know it looks like I sold the head of cards, but originally he had offered me 35 keys for both, but he said that he accidentally thought that this hat was uh, Blizzardy Storm, and he asked me if he could get a full refund, and I didn't want to be a dickbag, so I said, you know what, yeah, I'll just give it back to you. He valued this at 14 keys, and I believe I bought it for 13 so yeah i think that's a key profit but yeah i'll get back to you guys when i get another trade hey guys so after around two weeks of trying to sell this hood i was starting to lose hope on it and i was gonna quick sell it to a friend for 30 keys which was like 2.5 keys over buy orders at the time i had it listed at 40 on backpack and i was just making like a last ditch effort to offer it around and um actually i ended up getting a Pretty good trade for it. Uh, I got 30 keys pure uh, and a neutron star wingman with buy orders at 10 keys and sellers at 12. So I'm going to sell this to bots. But this was my full pure buyout at 40 keys. So this this one really saved me. I'm pretty happy about this. I'm actually really happy about this. We paid 27 keys for the uh, Blizzardy Storm and we're getting 40. So that's 13 keys profit. I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Uh, just to show you guys, this is the classifieds listing for the Neutron Star Wingman that I got. It's got sellers at 12 and a bit higher, and buy orders at 10.34. I'm not going to waste my time, I'm just going to sell it to bots, and we'll see where that one gets us. Hey guys, so I finally sold my Blizzardy Storm Wetworks. I got it in a downgrade or well i got it for 17 keys and this guy was upgrading to my hat so i downgraded my hat i got a terawatt scotch bonnet and five keys and 40 refined i think it's 40 refined i hope it is i didn't count one two three four five six thirty wait 36 37 38 39 40 yeah okay so i paid 17 for this and i'm still on the page from the last clip but the scotch bonnet I believe head buy orders at 11 so yeah so I bought it for 17 and the buy orders for this are at 10.84 and then I also got five five keys in 40 refined which is around 5.8 keys so really all I have to do is sell this thing for 0.36 over buy orders and we'll be in the profit so i felt like me being the only seller and this being a demo hat which is a bit more desirable than a sniper hat uh well they're on the same tier but i thought that it would just be a good upgrade because it would secure me some profit so i might try to sell this for 12 keys maybe a bit more than 12 keys so that um we'll have around two keys in profit but yeah so guys, I have just sold, uh, or I just bought a key from a bot with the ref that I had. So I got the 40 ref from that trade. And after selling the wingman to bots, uh, I think that was enough to buy a key. So I went ahead and did that. And geez, slowly making our way back to pure again. Yeah, this is what we just got. I'll show this one to you guys in game in a bit, but really happy with how this went. So at the moment we've got, oh dude, four unusuals and around 60 pure, I believe. So 10, yeah, so we have 62 keys pure and four unusuals. So I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so I ended up selling the scotch bonnet for 12 keys and 5 ref. Um, originally I um, offered him both of my heads, but we only came to the decision of one, but I had accidentally accepted the trade with this head uh, in the trade window. He was really nice, he was nice enough to give it straight back to me, no problems at all, so I gave him a plus rep, could have gone really bad, but... 12 12 keys and five ref is about 12.1 keys and then we downgraded it from the wetworks we got 5.8 keys with it so 5.8 plus 12.1 is 17 point something 
I think. 5.8. Plus. Dude, I suck at math. Yeah, something like that. So he profited around a key. So I'm not complaining. That's really good. But I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so I finally sold this Disco Beatdown Rather Festive Tree, and I got a really good offer on it. Uh, I believe I paid a bubbling war pig and 10 keys, and I paid 21 for the war pig for this. So essentially I paid 31 keys for this, and the guy that was quick, the bot that was quick selling it for 2 keys over buy orders actually went away. Somebody bought it off of him and relisted it for 41 keys. So, um... I was really surprised when I got this offer. Um, got an offer of a Haunted Ghost Boxcar Bomber. I think the box the boxcar is an all-class hit. And um, around nine keys in suites. So the boxcar bomber has um, buy orders at 28.05 and a seller at 40. So uh, with, the, with the nine keys that he added and adds on top, that would be like 37 keys and buy order mixed. So since I paid 31 for it, uh, that's about six keys in instant buy order profit, which is really good. It's actually kind of crazy how I got the deal because um, yeah, I was just uh, minding my own business and I saw him paste the bind that said that he was looking for an all class with disco beatdown. And that's exactly what I had. So yeah, we ended up getting a really good deal out of him. Uh, Originally, he said he would think about it, and I don't even think he spoke English, because um, he was spoken, he was like speaking in like really broken English. So I let the offer sit there, cause um, I had already sent him the offer, and about a day and a half later, it just he just randomly accepted it. So it was really nice. I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. So guys, I am just quick buying a circling peace sign towering titanium pillar of hats for 11 keys. It is an all class, but it is robo. But uh, I saw a bot quick selling it for 0.1 keys over buy orders for an all class. So I think I can definitely get at least a key profit from this. I can't really, can't really go wrong with this. Um, even if this bot over here disappears, uh, I still think I can get more than 11 from it. So, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. So, I quick bought a steaming Crones Dome. A, it's a pretty nice all class. Not the best effect, but I bought it for 39 keys, which was 2 keys over buy orders at the time. Uh, I have sold it. Uh, it's 10 now, but I've gotten a really good offer that will go over in a couple minutes, I guess. But I bought it for 39 cheapest seller was at 55 so I decided to take that deal because I'm sure I could re-quick sell it for two keys over buy orders because it's a really desirable all-class hat. The effect not, may not be as good, but yeah, I'll explain to you guys what I sold it for in a bit. So guys, this is the offer that I got on my steaming crones dome. I got offered a double spelled haunted man eater, a champ stamp with spectral spectrum, a haunted magical mercenary with chromatic, a cutthroat concierge with spectral, cloud nine tank top, double spelled spooky sleeves, a strange hitman's heat maker with exorcism, and three keys for my steaming crones dome. And I've set up a little spreadsheet. I know I'm a try hard for this, but I wanted to visualize it for you guys. Uh, so this is what I priced each of the spells at. And my initial investment from the crones, I paid 39 for. So um, I'll go into detail. So the Haunted Man Eater with Petrescent. Uh, Petrescent itself was going for 10, but I felt like that was really overpriced for what it is. Um, but I did price it pretty low though. Uh, I don't know, I just priced it at 4 in my head. I never like verbally told them what I was pricing it at, but that's what I priced it around was like 4 in the trade. And then for the champ stamp with Spectral Spectrum, hit up a few friends for some advice, but they they were saying all of these were um, 
really overpriced on the market. They said that I could at least get six out of it. So I priced my uh, Spectral one at six keys. And then I had a Haunted Magical Mercenary. The cheapest chromatic one was at 8.5 keys. And since the regular one was going for 6.6, .6, I just priced it at what it was selling for, like 6.5 for the regular one, because I don't think anybody would really spend extra on chromatic simply because there's no margin for it uh, profit wise so i wouldn't really be making anything if i were to price it at anything higher than like 7.5 so i priced that at 6.5 then the cutthroat concierge um i believe it had spectral spectrum spectral was selling for 12 but uh chromatic is the same pretty much six sister effect and it was going for nine so i priced that at four keys in my head and um the spooky sleeves i uh, priced at six it was double spelled uh, i told them that uh spectral was going for 10 voices doesn't add much but i would need some room for profit so i did that and then the heat maker uh, this one was really weird because um this is actually the only exorcism one other than the one that i was getting on the market and it was priced at 10 keys and normally exorcism doesn't add that much normally adds only around like a key or two but um i asked some friends about it and they didn't know what to price it at either so um just priced it at three keys uh or four keys and then uh he added cloud nine tank top with buy orders at 7.51 it's one of three in existence and i would be the only seller if i were to sell it right now but i don't think i get too much for it because sister effects like uh well, not sister effects, but like effects with the same tier are going for quite cheap on the tank top. And the tank top isn't the best looking hat either. So we'll see about that one. And then he added three keys on top. So ultimately he was paying what, like 10, 20, 30. So like 41 keys in quick sell price for uh, something that I spent in like for like 39 keys on. So, um, as I go and sell these off, I will list them. I will list how much I sold them for. Then at the end, we'll, we're gonna add these numbers up and then compare them together. And we'll see how much profit we can make from this trade. But I don't have any doubts. I still think I can definitely profit off of this because spells right now are popping. Like everybody wants spells. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Okay guys, so we got our first offer on the Exorcism Heatmaker, and I just decided to take it. Uh, I got offered 7 keys and there was a seller for it at 10. Uh, I honestly didn't think I could get this much on it, but Luna apparently main sniper, and so he said he'd like to have this in his collection. So yeah, I'm deciding to let it go for 7 keys, so uh, we're just going to update this spreadsheet here real quick. So I had priced it at seven in the trade, but we sold it for seven, which is a really promising sign. I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. I have just sold my double spelled man eater for seven keys to Jesus. Uh, pretty good guy. He's been on firepower for a while and uh, he's got a lot of keys, but um, I mean, I guess a lot of you guys may think that this is kind of cheap for a double spelled, especially because Petrescent was at 10 keys by itself. But I just felt like that was way too much for what it was. I think Petrescent should only add like two keys. And regular ones were going for like a couple ref. So I, I'm happy with seven. I priced it at, I believe, like four in the trade. I, I've already, oh my god. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to update it. Um, so seven. Yeah, so I did price it at four. So that's three more than I thought I could get out of it. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so I have just sold my Magical Mercenary with Chromatic Corruption for seven keys. Um, buy orders for regular ones were at like six keys and I ended up quick selling it for seven simply because there was a guy selling a CC one for 9.5 keys and I just didn't want to wait because I think seven is still a good offer. So I decided to take seven. And on the Cloud9 tank top, uh, we got a mixed offer. 
uh, Dead President's Man of Reason plus three keys. The Man of Reason has Biotors at 6.5, so uh, him adding like three keys makes it so he's paying 9.5 for this tank top with Biotors at 7.5. So that's like two keys profit. Um, because I think I priced this at buy orders, but um, the mana reason doesn't have that big of a margin, so um, probably just gonna end up selling it to bots because there is a quick sell bot selling for like less than a key over buy orders for it as well. But um, f filling out the sheet here, I'll just say 9.5 for the tank top and the magical mercenary I've already filled out. So right now we've got what 10 20 it's like 34 minus 0.5 so we have like 33.5 keys is what we've got back from it and we've got three different spells to still sell so i'll get back to you guys when i get another trade hey guys so it's been a few days or actually i think it's only been one day uh since i recorded those last clips and i have made a couple trades that I didn't record live again, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, so I guess I'll just review them all. Uh, I sold this tank top that we got in a mixed offer for um, for our Crohn's Dome, I believe. And so I priced it at buy orders. Uh, buy orders were at like 7.5, and I got offered a Dead President's Man of Reason plus three keys for it. The Dead President's Man of Reason had buy orders at 6.5 and sellers at 8. So, um, yeah. Uh, we got offered like 9.5 for it. And this had buy orders at 7.5, so there's about 2 keys profit right there. Um, I actually ended up selling this Man of Reason for 7 keys, so technically we got paid 10 keys for this. So, uh, I've already updated uh, how much we got for it. Uh, we got 10 keys in the end and pure for it and yeah So for the next trade I traded away my dead president's hat of cards I've had this hat for like four four days, maybe five uh, I bought it for 15 keys. I was the only seller uh, Buy orders were at 14 keys and I added three and a half keys on top So I paid 18 and a half keys for a circling hearts pyros beanie with buy orders at 20 I believe uh, I can check that again. Uh, and a seller at 28, so we paid 18 and a half keys for uh, a hat with buy orders at 20, so that's an automatic 1.5 keys profit if we sell to bots. So I finally sold this Haunted Ghost boxcar bomber. I shouldn't have said finally, I've only had for about a day and a half. But um, I sold it for a Sunbeams Air Dog with buy orders at 27 plus 3 keys. There was another seller for this Sunbeams Air Dog at 33 keys. So there was a 6 key margin, and I don't think the guy wanted to put up with that. So uh, I actually managed to get him to add 3 keys on top. So he paid 30 keys in buy orders for what I got this for in buy orders at 28 in a mixed offer for my uh, rather festive tree that I would profit if I sold to bots for. So yeah this isn't too bad of an offer they both didn't have that that big of a margin so i didn't really mind i didn't think i could get like 30 out of this box car so i decided just to you know do this trade might have been a bad trade i don't know this this hat has a six key margin so we'll see but it's sunbeams and yeah i quick bought a rancho relaxo with fountain of delight for 12 keys uh, it had buy orders at 12.4 and this guy was selling it for 12 keys so I just traded him up and I said you know what I'll do that <laughs> I'll do that any day um, I was surprised he said he was just trying to be generous so I was like all right sure I can do that but there is a, a seller at 23 keys I'm sorry if I'm not showing the backpack listings for these I'm really sorry about that I just oh, I'm so tired bro but um yeah buy orders at 12.3 and a seller at 23 keys so i can just re-quick sell this for like 13 and i'd just be fine with that got a big trade i just quick sold my dark falker kelm i was the only seller for it um but then I, a bot came in and undercut me 
So I had this listed for 75 keys. Buy orders were at 53 keys. And a bot came in and undercut me uh, at 70 keys. So I decided to quick sell it. I got it for a mixed offer of like what I paid 43 keys in. So I'd profit 10 keys if I just sold to the bot, which is amazing. But I ended up selling it for 56.5 keys. Um, meaning that I profited 13 and a half keys pure off of this hat and at the end of the day so I'm really pleased with that um, yeah so we're slowly making our way back to full pure I guess we'll be quick buying a lot more things in the next episode so just a few hours later maybe just actually just an hour later I sold these spooky sleeves the double spelled ones for an aces high fe fat man's field cap a Boston breakdance with silver cyclone and uh, batting a thousand ton with silver cyclone so uh, the buy orders of these combined add up to 11.5 keys and I actually priced these at I think around eight keys in the trade it might be six I pretty low balled I low balled it pretty badly in the trade but um yeah we ended up getting like 11.5 none of these unusuals have margins at all so I think I'm just gonna sell to bots uh, I'm happy with 11.5 so i guess we could just update this now we sold the spooky sleeves for 12 keys pure well let's say yeah we'll say 12 because if i sell the bots it'll be 12. so now all we have left to sell is the champ stamp and the cutthroat i just sold my sunbeams air dog i priced it at buy orders in the trade uh for my boxcar bomber that i also got for pretty much what i priced in buy orders for a trade so these trades are all adding up but we're slowly making our way back to full pure i gave my unusual and half a key in ref for his 29 keys so he paid 30 28.5 keys for it uh buy orders are at 27 and there's a seller at 33 that's still there so i decided just to take that it was a key and a half over buy orders, and I was having trouble even getting an offer for a key over buy orders for it. So, yeah, I just took this deal. Um, not much else to it. Nothing else. I mean, if the other guy wasn't there, I could have probably milked at maybe 30 keys. Because it is sunbeams, but... Yeah, I just... I don't... I don't know, man. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright. I also sold the Spectral Champ Stamp that I got. I'm sorry, I'm so tired right now. Um, sold it for 10 keys, uh, which is really nice. So if we go update this thing, 10 keys, boom, chuck lock them. All right, so let me count this. I suck at math, by the way, so let me pull up a calculator. All we have left to, to sell are the the cutthroat concierge thing so seven plus ten so i'm just adding what i pay uh, what i got back from all the items that i resold um 12 plus seven plus ten plus three dang so i have 56 keys i got 56 keys from all, selling all these spells and i still have one left um the cutthroat to sell and uh, my initial investment for the crones dome that i got was uh 39 keys so if we subtract 39 we just profited like 17 keys from that spell trade <laughs> and we still have uh the cutthroat concierge with spectral to sell um i've been offered six on it uh, I've, I've been offered six there's a seller at 12 so i'm hoping for more like nine but i mean we've guaranteed 23 dude it's 12 a.m fuck's sake we have a guaranteed 23 keys profit so i'm really happy with that but yeah so guys i have just re quick sold my uh titanium towering titanium pillar of hats with circling peace sign and my circling hearts pyros beanie for 33 and a half keys um, I bought these for buy orders pretty much like um, so I upgraded to them this one I bought for 11 keys the guy said he would buy it for 12 keys which is a key profit and then this one I got in a mixed offer where I would profit if I sold to bots anyways and the buy orders were at 20 keys and he offered me 21.5 which was pretty good because there's another seller at 28 for it 
So I decided to just take it. So that's two and a half keys profit right there. And then I also bought a Stranger Aussie knife. Um, so the only spell left that I have is that um, the Cutthroat for the Spy, I believe. So I just decided I wanted to get uh, an Aussie knife just to go with it. So yeah, I got it for pretty low too, like a key over barters. So I wouldn't mind keeping this for a bit. Uh, but yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Hey guys, so we have finally traded the last spell that we had to sell from that Cronestone trade, the Spectral Spectrum Cutthroat. Um, I remember I said I had a current offer of six and nobody wanted to offer any more than six. So I decided to take that. Um, still really pleased with that because um, we add up everything here. Um, kind of dense in the head so I need a calculator but um, I mean I could probably do this mentally like 17 24 30 42 49 59 61 62 that's 62 so we resold everything for 62 keys so that means that the total profit from this trade would be um three 23 keys so I'd say all around that was an amazing trade. 23 keys profit is more than what I could ask for on that Crohn's Dome, because if you look at that Crohn's Dome, uh, got a steaming, I think we had a steaming one, right? The highest seller is 55, and we made 62 keys off of this, so we could have never even made 55, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade. Okay, guys, so we just made a very, very big trade. So this guy, Sweaty Ostrich, <laughs> Sweaty Ostrich here, um, he was cashing out, and he had a pretty expensive inventory. And so um, I bought a Disco Beatdown Well-Rounded Rifleman in all-class hat. A uh, couple unusual taunts and a Scorching Flames Bird Lenner's Bucket Helm for 163 keys pure. So because this is such a big trade, decided to make a spreadsheet for it again, um, just like the last one that we did. But um, I had already set it all up. The only really ones that matter are the Bucket Helm and the Rounded Rifleman because the taunts really, I mean the taunts are really nice, but I priced them all at pretty much a couple of ref over buy orders. Um, round it up to like the nearest whole number or half number uh, to it and what really matters is that I got this for 60 keys and before this I had done the trade yesterday and there were actually no buy orders for this at 59 they were all at 58 points something yesterday see like they all listed a couple hours ago the highest buy order last time was like 57 yesterday so I priced it at 60 and all of that and this roughly adds up to 163 keys so we'll see where this one gets us I think this was a really good buy because I pretty much buy everything for buy orders even the well-rounded rifleman here uh, I bought for 47 keys uh, that's what I priced it at there is no margin but it is an all-class hat I think I could at least quick sell it for maybe 49 if I'm lucky so yeah I'll get back to you guys when I get another trade so guys, I have just sold my Skullcracker taunt uh, for a Zoom In Broom Static Shack taunt and a Blizzardy Storm Sober Stuntsman. The Zoom In Broom taunt is in all class and it has buy orders at 11 and this hat has buy orders at 8 and no sellers. So altogether buy orders are around 19 keys which is pretty good overpay because my Skullcracker taunt had a seller at 25 keys, but buy orders were at 14 and a half. So by paying 19 keys and buy orders for it, he essentially overpaid by around five keys pure. Um, I can definitely sell this Sober Stuntsman for more and this Zoom and Broom taunt for a bit more as well. So all around, pretty good trade. I haven't sold these for pure yet, so I'm not going to update this spreadsheet, but still very promising trade. Get back to you guys when I get another one.
so guys this is going to end it for today's video um i'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, i know it's been a long one um and i want to apologize for the late upload again it's been around two weeks since my last episode and uh normally i upload every week or i've been trying to but lately school and everything it's been hard um i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to post next week either might no promises i'd like to upload videos that are pretty long because most of the times short videos only like last 10 minutes and maybe i'd probably make like 10 keys profit in an episode and i feel like that wouldn't really be worth it <laughs> for one episode so i make sure to try and have the most profit in each episode and then i really hope you guys enjoyed i'm repeating myself now but uh right now we've got 36 36 keys pro uh the fuck 36 keys pure an aussie knife and a bunch of unusuals i'm gonna bust out the calculator real quick so what we've got 36 keys and then we also have around whatever 0.8 keys in ref and the aussie knife we can sell to bots for 20 the rain unicorn rancher we can sell for seven uh, we have the spreadsheet right here what am i doing okay plus seven plus what like 15 but we sold uh the thing for 19 keys in buy orders i'm gonna say 19 17.23 and then 4.4 plus 47 plus 60. so if i were to sell everything to bots right now i would have 211.5 keys and i believe last episode we left off with 143 keys so that is roughly 70 keys this episode that we did make in profit really nice 70 keys in two weeks uh is around 35 keys in a week and that's really good considering that i barely really traded this week um i focused on trading on the weekends so i did spend some time trading on the weekends but during the weekdays i did not trade at all uh once again i hope you guys enjoyed if you like the video feel free to subscribe help me out uh and yeah hope you have a good one okay post note i did the math wrong we actually did make more profit than that uh so if we add everything we have 163 right but we sold this thing for like 19 instead so we'll add four on top and then from there we add the 36 keys that we have and then the 20 keys in the aussie knife which 223 keys because i forgot to add the frosted star victory lab or whatever and we subtract we ended off with 143 in the last episode that's 80 keys pure in profit that we got my fault whatever wakey 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 it's time for school come on wake up it's time for school come on man are you ready for school come on